I've spent the last few BI Bytes videos talking about Power Pivot, but mainly I've been showing the end user functionality. Now I'm going to show how Power Pivot is managed. Power Pivot is designed for personal and team business intelligence applications. The team aspect is provided using SharePoint Server 2010. This is managed through SharePoint's central administration. Here is the central administration main page with links and menus to various management options for SharePoint Server. I'm going to click on the Manage Service Applications link. This takes me to a page listing all the running service applications. Here is the default Power Pivot service application item. I'll select it and then choose the Manage option from the ribbon UI. This opens up the Power Pivot management dashboard. This page has some web parts for allowing IT staff to see how Power Pivot applications are being used. This top left item shows charts and reports of various activities and usage information for my applications. The second web part is quite nice. It allows you to see trends for how applications are being used. The slider at the bottom allows me to move through different dates and the circles on the graph represent the usage of the different applications. Some applications are used by a small number of users, but they contain multiple data queries, whereas others have few queries but are used by more users. The size of the circle represents the size of the application. This part allows you to track usage so that you know when applications should be retired or where they're being used to such an extent that perhaps a dedicated application should be built. This dashboard also gives me a list of all the workbooks being stored in SharePoint, as well as options to change settings. For example, setting timer jobs for when data caches should be refreshed. We also have reports around the health and usage of the application. So Power Pivot allows you to put power in the hands of the users to create rich applications, while retaining IT control and management.